Okay. <clears throat> Hi everybody. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make your own Left 4 Dead 2 server, like the one I run. If anybody's ever been on it or seen it before on any of my channel videos. So I'm gonna be teaching you how to make a server like that. It's probably gonna be a four part video, just so I can explain everything since I don't have like a sponsorship or whatever the heck those things are. So I can only post ten minute videos. So, um, okay, let's begin. First of all, I want to thank, or thank, uh, SP Johnny, because he was the original person who helped me make my server when I had problems. So I'll put a link in the description to his channel and to subscribe for him, because he's pretty much helped me to where I am now. And I'm pretty alone now. But anyway, okay, getting to the point. So now we're going to want to go to the, uh, Steam website. So we can get the HLDS tool. So I'm just going to open my Internet Explorer, see if that works. Sorry for my background, it's very odd looking. And don't mind my proxy, I have a proxy set up. Just in case. Stupid viruses. Okay, anyway, so. Once you get to the Steam website, just got to wait for it to load. Okay, sorry. Okay, once you get to the Steam website, just go all the way to the bottom of the page and look for Tools. And you're going to want to get Windows or Linux, you know, whichever one you have. And you just click on it and install it. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to really install it. There's not really a need to. It's a waste of time. So, once you guys install that, you should have a folder in your computer under Program files 86 depending on if you're Vista or 7 or XP if you're XP it's going to be program files if it's Vista or Windows 7 it's going to be 86 so anyway so once you're done with that you're going to make a folder on your C drive called Left 4 Dead 2 just like I have L 4 D 2 that's it just make it and leave it exactly like that don't need to do anything with that for now okay so, then you're going to want to go to your CMD, or command prompt, search for that, start it up. Okay, so now this is going to differ for some people, so I'm just going to go the manual route, even though there is really a code you can do just to get to it quickly. So, you're going to want to find it, so mine's in program files 86 gonna go all the way down to you find valve and then HLS server just click on that and then you're gonna take this copy it put CD space and then paste it right in here now if it's work if it works right then it should say this C program files 86 or just C program files if you're XP valve and then half life server now you're going to want to take this command, I'll put it in the uh, description, and you're going to want to paste this in, but you will need to change this to what you name the folder. So I have it as left forwarded to, and you would just click enter here, it's going to, depending on what operating system you have, it's going to ask for a, like security or to get in or whatever. Just click continue and just let it run its course. And it'll probably take, depending on your internet speed, it'll probably take at least an hour because it has to download every single Left 4 Dead 2 file into that folder and then set it up so you have uh, CSRDS or whatever the heck that is. So then, once you let that run its course, just let it do what it needs to do. You're going to have files in your Left 4 Dead 2 folder. It's going to have this stuff and then it's going to have all of this. And don't mind some of the stuff I have in here. Like I have server crashes I can just get rid of. I'll just get rid of those actually. Now. Not sure what that's doing there. I need to keep these SCDRSs.
No, whatever. Not even to deal with that. Okay, so once you do this, you can just make a do go do you know go check real quick. Just make sure there's all this pack O two, is pack O one, all the key files you need to run the server. And you're gonna want to make you're gonna want to click on this and click create a shortcut. It's gonna create a shortcut and it might be in here. It might say it like this. I don't know why that's in there. I'll get rid of that after. But it'll create a shortcut like this, and you're just going to want to drag it to your desktop. Like, I have mine right here, but for some reason the icon's missing missing or whatever. And then you're going to want to click Properties after you do that. And you're going to want to change it so it basically says this. I'll have it, like, in the description. So it's going to... But it's what's basically going to happen is it's going to run through a console view. Like, I'll run it in a second so you can see. It's gonna, the game's Left 4 Dead 2, which is what you're supposed to have if you're watching this. You're gonna wanna, the host port, it totally depends on what port you forward through, and I'm gonna show you guys that in a second, so you can set this up. Um, you're gonna wanna get a server CFG. Um, I'm t currently using SP Johnny's, so I'll give you the link to his, and thank you once again to him. And you're just gonna want to choose a map. I just have it set as this. I as soon as I load my server, I just change it because I never play campaign anyway. So you can just choose whatever map you want, and you can just you don't need to use this survival thing. And for the people who are trying to run servers with more than eight people in them, you would also add the command plus max players. And then you're just going to want to set it to whatever you want. So, for example, 32. That's what you would do if you wanted to have more than that. But, okay. So once you are done with that, op open your internet again. And... www. I think I have a link in here. Let me check. Uh, yeah, I do. You want to go to, you're going to want to go to this port forward website. And, uh, you might have a modem, like a direct connect to a modem, which means you're not going to have wireless internet. So, if you have a modem, then it's you're not going to need to do this. So, you can just completely skip this step and you just saved a ton of time. Okay, so yeah, it's my IP boohoo. Um Now, you're going to want to find your router. For example, I I have a SMC find SMC. I have an SMC barricade I think it's I think it's this one. I don't know. It's one of these. I've been using modem. And then it's gonna show an ad. You don't need to do this. Just click the skip ad. And Right now, my router that I have it does not support port forwarding, from from what I know. But anyway, right after you click your router, it's going to say, uh, choose the game or the thing that you're forwarding the ports for. So you're going to want to go all the way down and find Left 4 Dead 2. Just click on that. And then... So now it's going to give you the steps on what you need. This is your static IP address. You you want to type that in. I don't really know how to find it. It's somewhere in your settings. So you're wa you're gonna want to go and then find that. And this is basically just gonna tell you what to do. And for the people who don't know where the router is, you can probably ask your parents because I'm sure they'll know. Because if you pay for your internet service like AT and T or Comcast, your router is the thing that gives you wireless internet. So you should be able to find that. Okay, and then after that, you're just gonna wanna follow the steps that it tells you to do, and it's gonna change you to the, it's gonna tell you to change all these ports and stuff. And then after, to make sure it's done, you can uh, test it in with this port checker tool. I've used it before; it works fine. It's up to you though; you don't 100% need to. So um, yeah, I gotta pause the video now. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.